I would say we finished the bar, but I'm not done for entertainment, at least for today. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Project Zomboid, the Builder Challenge. We just got done with this bar here and somehow it is still leaking. And today, I think we're going to be working on our nice little home theater. But uh, right now, it's it, it's raining really damn bad. It's really doomy and kind of gloomy. I, I still don't know how the rain is getting in here. So we're going to drop off all the stuff we don't need right now. And we could also be working on dropping off a bunch of the stuff we've gotten in our nice little uh, trip last episode, like the popsicle fridge. The rest of this is going to be going towards the, um, the, the little home movie theater, though. But I think that the popsicle freezer would have a very nice place right inside the garage here. Sadly, you can't rotate it. Bada bam. We also have a copious amount of food to drop off, which is good because I am currently starving. Yeah, we'll help ourselves to this granola bar that's somehow going bad. I'm very sad that those actually do rot. And some chips. Delish. Oh, another thing that's probably weighing us down is, uh, the gas cans. We, we, we can we can leave one just right here. The same goes for all the uh, magazines that we're not using right now. We are going to need those dark red carpets, though. Ooh, another thing we actually do have is a couple of uh, plastic cups here. How about we leave that up on the bar, just like that. You know, it's the small details that people are really going to see. Same thing with the wine glass back there. Oh, yeah. And how could we forget the pool ball? We don't have, you know, the full set, but one right there kind of adds a little bit of extra texture to it. And last but not least, let's go grab a couple more boxes of nails. We are dangerously low at this point. It's actually scaring me on how how little we have now. Oh, I was not expecting this to be such a such a resource hog. But, you know, it, it kind of goes with the whole memo of making a house. And could this place stop storming, please? I'm sick of this terrible weather. We don't even get a break in it from indoors because this still counts as the outside. Well, I mean, at least this spot here is counted as a room. It sucks that I'm going to have to destroy this, uh, this middle wall here in order to make stuff work. Because we need this to be as open as possible. And we also need to uh, destroy both of the window frames as well. Because having windows in a movie theater kind of takes away from it. And that's also why I did want to go down here, because it doesn't have a direct access to a balcony. Because you don't want screen flare while you're watching a movie. You, you don't want it to be bright as hell, so taking these out is going to be good. But before I do, I want to actually pick up the window frames. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to need to uh, rebuild it and repaint it. And sadly, we can't disassemble the plastered wall, so we're just going to have to destroy it. And it's a shame, really. So now let's go grab our uh, planks up here and rebuild those two bad boys with the plaster that is barely even there. Bop, 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 bop. Looking good. Now we can just plaster the two and then we can begin painting it. We uh, thankfully just had enough in our bucket of plaster. So now that's going to be empty and we're going to have to make another in the future. But for now, it can collect water. All right, now it's about time we go grab ourselves some blue and orange paint, which is going to be here. Oh, that's where I left my orange paint. I, <laughs> I actually spent a little bit looking around for it because it's hidden perfectly behind this one shelf here. Well, now we can finally begin. That was one thing I was looking for. So now we have our orange paint and we have our scion paint. And now we're going to be doing alternating stripes between all these bad boys. Oh, yeah, it's going to look like a it's going to look like a nerf gun, but I think it's going to look great as well. Nice. We got the. We got the wall pattern. It's kind of a little bit tacky, and I wish I had a bit of a darker blue, but it should work for now. I do like the alternating stripes because it's going to look really good with the gas station counters as well in the back. But right now, let's go drop off our paints, and let's actually go move the uh, the counters in as well. So what I'm thinking right now, this area in the back is going to be for getting snacks and all that jazz, and then up here is going to be our actual movie screen. And then right in the middle, seats. Of course, we don't have a lot of seats right now. That's uh, that's a work in progress. But I can drop off these really damn nice looking fossil oil counters, that comic shop shelf as well with food, and the hot dog machine and soap dispenser. That's all gonna look fantastic in there. But the only problem here right now is that this pillar here is kind of blocking the only entrance out. But I also need to place down both my hot dog stand and my soda machine and those only face outwards. And is it really a snack lounge unless you have soda machines? So I think it's a I think it's a risk that I'm willing to take right now. Or we could honestly just take out the pillar as well. How bad would that intersect though? That is the question. I mean, it's kind of it, it is pretty noticeable. 
I might rebuild a pillar later. But for now, we'll, we'll just leave it out. We'll place down our hot dog stand right there and our soda machine in the corner. And we can finish off this, uh, this little corner here with one more of these. Okay, now that that's done, let's just leave like a quick uh, water bottle in here just so the drinks and stuff fill up here. Bam. And now let's finish this off with some good old fashioned dark red carpet. I hope we have enough to actually cover it. Ba -ba 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 Okay, this is looking pretty damn dapper. The only thing we're missing are the doors and I'm probably gonna go replace the uh, the pillar as well because that, that kind of throws me out of it a bit. We are gonna have to move my stretcher bed a little bit later as well, but currently it's 7, 10 p.m. I'm exhausted out of my mind. I think we go get some sleep, grab a quick cigarette, and then we can drop off the, uh, the actual screen for the movie theater. And then we're gonna need to pay a visit up this direction to a cool little, um, little, little vacation spot to where we could probably get some very dapper looking seats. So we have a pretty big day ahead of us. Let's make sure we get something to eat, something to drink, and I will see y'all in a second. Hopefully the storm will be done as well. Well, the storm has finally passed and our chin strap needs to be put to rest. As you see, I've moved my stretcher bed upstairs in the very work in progress bedroom, which uh, we'll have to get to later. But uh, yeah, I did a little bit of inventory management and I dumped off everything inside our um our little stockpile here so as you see we have another water dispenser which is fr fan freaking tastic and another thing that i almost forgot wait hold on we forgot the popcorn corner oh how could i forget you in a home movie theater oh damn that's like one of the biggest that's like one of the biggest reasons why i wanted a home theater oh you're gonna sit your butt right down in here oh hell yeah you're staying here we'll just drop it off right here for now we'll find a nice counter for it later I'm sure we will. Or maybe what we can do is place it off in this corner right here where the soda machine was. No, it doesn't- it does not want to cooperate there. I'm sure we- I'm sure we can figure out something in the future. But now it can stay right there. Now that that's done, I can- I can talk about the actual thing I forgot about. And, um, it should be in one of these containers over here. Matter of fact, I think it's in the one up here. But we do have an extra large backpack here that I completely forgot about. And that means more storage for your boy. So I'm really glad that I did search through it and find it. Now, the last thing that we do have to install before we get the seats is the actual movie screen and a few posters here. And then the rest is going to be history. Oh, I knew taking all that good stuff was going to be worth it. That VHS store. Oh, we also have the um, we also have the counter as well. Oh, dude, this place is going to look so rad. We got all those VHS tapes as well. Look at all these films that we're going to be able to watch, man. Why is there a plank in there? Get that out of there. Anyways, I'll take the entire stock, which is <laughs> quite literally my entire screen. And give me those large rental shelves as well. Beautiful. Let's place them down now. Okay, now that we got these bad boys down, what we can do is place down our nice little movie screen here. Like that. And we could place our large rental shelf right on the side here. Oh, I'm thinking of another thing, and... Alright, so what I'm thinking right now... Oh gosh, that is that, that VHS pile is really trippy. Is we go ahead and place our, um, our display shelf right in this corner here, right next to the movie screen. It makes the most amount of sense. And then we have this act as our main entrance right here. A little bit of a detour for my original plan, but I think it'll look a heck of a lot better. And we can go ahead and replace this again because um, I definitely want the entrance to be here. So we can place a nice little hot dog stand there. And it also makes sense in a, um, you know, in an entertainment way as well. Because once you go into a spot you want to watch movies, you want to get your snacks first and then you watch the film, right? So I think having an entrance down here, having f people funnel in, grab their snacks and then sit down is going to be the best part. And placing them right in the side here is a really nice nook for it to, uh, to embed itself in. Yeah. So let's go make that door frame again, plaster it over. It'll take like five whole seconds. And in turn, we can destroy this doorway here, build a quick wall in its place, and plaster that son of a gun back over. Now I am happy with the final result. All we have to do is place a rental shelf, insert our VHS tapes, and it'll be perfect. Of course, we still need to get seats, which I am going to be doing uh, very soon once we wake up. 
like that. Okay, I am extremely happy with it now. Let's go grab our nice selection of VHS tapes now and drop them off in there to watch later. Oh, I love the vibe of that shelf so much. I think it looks great. And last but not least, we got our movie posters. And that is just gonna be the icing on the cake. Woohoo! Damn! It's looking nice! The only thing that's kind of scuffed is the, uh, the popcorn machine. But come on, I need to include the popcorn machine or else am I really living? Okay, now that we're done with that, I guess I will see y'all in the morning to when I go ahead and, uh, head over to the place, get a bunch of supplies, and hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll be good there. Damn, maybe get some doors as well. I'll see y'all in the morning, though. Hey, 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 another day, another dollar. And while I was gone, I went ahead and, uh, placed a few little items here, and I also stockpiled our nice little snack pile with actual stuff, so now we have pop, chips, and a few candy packages, making it feel a little bit more lived in. I I, I love the aesthetic of this place, actually. It, it's so damn cool, even, even with the popcorn corner. Like, I would love to have this type of base. And I also did the same with our bar upstairs. Check it out. We actually have some alcohol in this bad boy, so that's looking a heck of a lot better as well. Oh, this is so cool. Today, we're going to be heading on over, and we're going to be leaving this car here, mostly because I feel like I could probably just tow another one on my trip down there so without wasting much more time let's get going oh one more thing though i need to be taking all the seat bags here those are gonna be detrimental to me taking as much as possible there we go now we're ready thankfully this uh this little trip here is not gonna be as far as the other ones so it's it's gonna be pretty pleasant of a drive and it's also remote enough to where there's not gonna be that many zombies and it is one of my favorite spots to go to, especially on the super difficult sprinter challenges. Oh, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. You did not see that. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I just, it's like taking training weights off and pushing yourself too hard just because of how fast you are. This gas station is going to mark the start of our nice little spot, though. I'm going to be taking that damn door as well. Oh yeah, that door's gonna look perfect. Um, the windows, I might take one as well. There's also another hot dog stand here, and there's also gonna be a crap ton of food. Five tubs of melted ice cream! Hubba Bubba, give me that! Another three? Oh, it's a good day to be me, man. That's, that's calories. That is pure calorie. Oh, that's so good. And so tasty. Can you feel it in the air, Mrs. Zombie Chan? I sure hope you can. But while I take the door off the hinges, this is not why we came here. We came to loot another spot that is just up ahead. But, you know, I, I will be taking a door if I see one, especially one with an ebony frame. Oh yeah, the real reason is right up here. Sadly, there's no vehicles here? Damn, that's a bummer. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go back and grab a vehicle really quick in that regard. Oh my god, I flipped it. I flipped it. I, I done diddly flipped it. I flipped it yet again. You've got to be kidding me. I <laughs> Come on, man. Ah! All right, let's try and detach and then reattach. Let's hope this works. One, two. Shit. Okay, this thing does have keys. And I thankfully did pack a gas can. So what we're going to do is a little bit of roadside surgery. We're going to go inside the vehicle, become one with the... <laughs> Become one with the tire well. Refill this son of a gun. Okay, we're gonna start it up and we're gonna give it the slightest nudge over. With the reverse gear because it is much more powerful. I am hoping this works without screwing over our cars here. This is, this is like, it's like surgery, okay? Oh, why does this keep on happening to me? Just easy does it, easy does it. Push. Come on, come on, come on. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. We're good. We're the we're golden boys. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Oh, I am extremely lucky there were keys inside this car. Or else we would have had to go all the way back to get our sports car, which would have been pretty doable because we're like across the neighborhood, really. That that's our house, and here we are. But let's let's finally finish what we came here for now, and that is getting some seats for our damn movie theater and also some just other cool stuff like maybe a bed and stuff as well, you know? General, gen general stuff at the 
general store. Ah, get it? First things first, we're gonna be going in here, clearing the son of a gun out. There's gonna be a lot of food stuff in here. D uh, just, just look. And there's gonna be a lot of cool little spots as well. All we have to do is kill everyone. And I think that is technically everyone. I also want to steal this large oak bed now. Mm, we got it. It's a four piece big boy bed, but it's worth it. This is gonna require like at least a couple trips here, but I do want a bed at least right now. Other than that bed, I also want to pick up this clothes stand here. And lastly, that nice little Venus flytrap right there that I can't take. Gosh diggity dang. All right, whatever. I'll just take the lamp and uh, continue on at it then. Okay, now that that's done, let's go clear out all the food stuffs in this place. We're going to be dumping all of our food inside one bag so we can stay a little bit organized. There's going to be a lot here. I mean, we got we got snacks for days, boys. Mac and cheese, TV dinners, olive oil, which also means just nectar from the gods, pantry shelves filled with chips, peppermint candies, and lastly, a couple of pops here. Okay, I don't really see anything else that I really care about. The extra snack things I might take for later, but right now I don't really need them. And now I can show you the real reason why we came here. The beef roundup. Look at those chairs and tell me that's not theater grade. And that that's really all the best that I have and that's the closest nearby, so. It's theater grade, okay? Oh yeah, give me them blue seats now. Ooh, I broke it. Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna break the rest of these. Okay, we're good. We, we, we got the rest of these, which are, which are gonna be 10 pounds each. That is a massive win in my book. Round up all these bad boys now, and let's dump them in another seat bag here. That's right. We're triple wielding these bad boys today. <laughs> Look at how strong we are. It's like I'm putting the groceries in the house all in one go for mom again, you know? Ooh, is that another painting? Uh, don't mind if I... Ah, uh, it's too heavy. And this place doesn't actually sell any food, it seems. It's just a bunch of fishing supplies, which is cool. Ooh, those are water barrels. I want those as well. Oh, there's so much here, man. Is that a lead pipe? I'll take that at a later date because I don't have any room for it right now. Let's just go and drop off all these blue seats inside this car right now. Bam, bam, boom, bingo. That's going to be most of our weight taken up. We have a little bit to go now. And I'm just going to be dropping off the rest of the uh, food inside this little spot as well. I got to make as much use of the uh, space as possible here, all right? We're not exactly done here just yet because I still want a door. This one to be exact. Yoink. We'll be shoving that inside our other seat bag. Never mind, uh, that's the one time the world actually uh, had a bone to pick with me. That's fine, we can just shove it in a seat then. This seat to be exact. Oh, it won't fit in such a small space. Oh, you're kidding. Well, that just means we're gonna have to make room in our trunk then, which I should be able to do pretty easily. There we go, now we can finally shove it in the trunk there. And I will probably also be back here just to go grab those picnic tables as well. Ooh, I'm also looking at this window and I really like it. I think I'll take it. I have such a problem with this kind of stuff. I've said it before, but I'll say it again, man. I I, I need I need to visit someone after this. Anyways, let's see what else in- Oh, I also want those rain collector barrels. We'll grab those later. We'll grab those later, okay? Those are gonna be good on our roof, but we'll grab them later. Or maybe we just grab them now. For now, I just want to disassemble some of these TVs and stuff. Or maybe we just take it now. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm gonna be grabbing these posters. And that fridge as well. That fridge looks modern as hell, dude. Oh, I have to take it. It looks so modern. It looks so cool. I have such a problem. Oh, it is so hard to pack rat all of this in as well. Let me just say that. But I think we finally got it. So let's go grab everything else and let's get the heck hang out of here. We got what we came here for. We, we, we got a new fridge. We got some new seats. We're gonna place it down and we're gonna leave. I will see y'all in a second. It was worth it. It was 100% worth it. It was all worth it. I think the posters are gonna look perfect inside our garage this way. Like there, and how about right there? Next up, this fridge is gonna be replacing the old poopy one here. This old one can actually stay in the uh, the garage for now because I might uh, do something with it later, so it can stay. But I, li I like the look of this fridge a lot more. It looks modern and it looks cool, okay? Bam, and then we can dump off all of our own food back into there. And last but not least, let's go grab all those seats and drop them off in our movie theater. So I'm thinking right here, right here, and why the heck not? We have one right here as well. Boom. I think it looks good, and we might find some seats for this later, maybe some couches. And yeah, I'm happy with it. Anyways, next episode, we're going to be working on the office upstairs, because I can say for a fact, other than a few little tidbits here and there, maybe some uh, furniture, we're basically done with the first story. We got the living room. We have the kitchen. We have the bathroom. We have a movie theater, 
and we have our garage. And upstairs, we have our bar done. We still need to do the home office, and we still need to do the two bedrooms. And then maybe, like, a few small decorations here and there. But this is shaping up to be really damn awesome. So, yeah. Next episode, gonna be the office right in here. It's gonna be a big one. Gonna be looking pretty damn spicy. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe for more, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a damn good day, everyone, and I'll let y'all just soak it in a little bit more, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.